So I've been spending lockdown at my place uh, in Rondebosch, um, currently with my girlfriend um, and my cousin. So uh, got a nice full house, but um, yeah, it's been, it's been good. As a group, um, we, we had a theme going into the year to get Cape Town smiling. And uh, that was, you know, how we behaved as individuals, how we played and you know just the things we do or how we interact with our fans you know and you know so many people um you know will spend the last of their money just to to get a ticket to come watch you know the the, the dhl stormers and the guys run around at newland you know whoever it may be against but we've got such loyal fans and and who who stay true to us through the toughest times and and now that you know we as as a as a as a community and as a country are facing these tough times this is you know really what we spoke about as a leadership group and you know as a as a player group saying this is our time to to give back to those people who supported us through you know thick and thin you know this is where there's so much happening in the world and we obviously been involved with the pick and pay uh, feed the nation uh, you know where guys can donate and and we as a, as a team have donated amongst ourselves um, and I think we, we are sort of challenging other unions and other franchises to do that as well. Um, and then the, I think obviously C has done tremendous work with, with his Khaleesi Foundation and what he's doing. Also, um, I don't know uh, individually guys like you know Salman Murat has, has um, been helping um, in Paul with his family and, and providing food and food packages over there and also I think Matt Moore um, who's uh, down in play helping out at a soup kitchen so you know it's, it's really good that the guys have taken it um, on themselves to, to go out and, and help you know as, as a group we can obviously still do a bit more and help out where we possibly can but I think as a group we can be really proud of ourselves the way we've conducted um, and, and behaved us, ourselves. It's, it's obviously a culture that, that's been coming on for a while um, obviously to build, I mean it might seem like a cliche, but to build something more than just the technical aspect of the player, but something deeper, you want to um, invoke or revive some spirit in him to, to, to make a difference, not only to himself and to the team, but also to humanity. And um, play they've been, <laughs> they've, they've been creative in what they've been doing, and they've, they've really gone the extra mile. In this period and even before this period and um, there's only one aspect of numerous things that that we've been doing to try and build the squad I'm home in Book Cup um, with my family, my my wife and my my two daughters. Look, um, obviously, it's it's innovation has to kick in. Innovation has to kick in from my perspective, from any coach perspective. I mean, probably from you as well. So what I do, I um, I send like challenges to the players. I do individual videos. I do um, I chat to some players, but I also do like weekly. I'll send them certain individual skills they can do. Fortunately, I've got two daughters who play a bit of touch, so I can use them as part of the video. Um, they they my guinea pigs. Um, they, we do passing exercises, drills, which we share with the players. The players um, do it 
tour they've obviously at home some seen videos and the players have been amazing as far as the skills are concerned because they they come up with their own innovations and um the things they send you is stuff you don't even think about but it um keeps them busy because their diet is quite full in terms of um the 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 strength and conditioning guys are sending them um weekly um and every second day they're getting various challenges on top of the actual program 